What's up my YouTube peeps? Today I'm going to show you how to stream the PS4 with OBS and no capture card. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when we have new content that comes out. The first thing we want to do is configure our PS4 to do this. So you just start it up and log in. Then you're going to go up into the settings. The first setting we're going to go to is remote play connection settings. Here you want to just make sure to enable remote play. Then you can back out of there and we're going to go to account management. In account management you just want to go to activate as your primary PS4 and make sure that the PS4 you're currently using is your primary. The last setting we're going to go to is the power save settings. Then we want to go to set features available in rest mode. You want to make sure to check stay connected to the internet and enable turning on the PS4 from the network. Once you've done that your PS4 is ready to go. Now all we need to do is install some software on your PC or your Mac to enable you to connect to your PS4. For this we're going to use the PS4 remote play. The link is in the description. You can select Windows PC users or Mac users. I have a Mac so I'm going to click that button. It takes me down here. If I scroll down a little bit, I see the button to download it for Mac. I save the file to my local drive and I'm going to go ahead and kick off the package and you just continue and install this. It's pretty straightforward and it's not that much different on a PC. You just download the file and install it. The next thing we have to do is connect our PS4 controller to our Mac or our PC. I'm going to show you on a Mac, but as long as you know how to get into your Bluetooth settings on your PC, you should be able to follow right along with this. We have to put our PS4 controller into search mode. To do this, just follow these directions. All you have to do is hold down share and the PlayStation button until you see the lights on the controller flash. Now your controller is ready to be Bluetooth paired to your computer. So go into your Bluetooth settings. On a Mac, you just click the little Bluetooth icon in the top and then go to open Bluetooth preferences. You should see your DualShock 4 wireless controller here. For Mac, I just double click on it and it will connect. On your PC, when you get into your Bluetooth devices, you should see your DualShock 4 wireless controller there. All you need to do is select it and click connect and you should be just the same, good to go. Next, just start the PS4 remote play. We're already connected, but I'm going to disconnect my controller to show you what it's going to tell you if you don't have it connected. You can see right here, it tells me connect the DualShock 4 controller, and there's a little question mark there, and if you click that, it's going to tell you how to connect the controller, basically exactly what I just told you. So I'm going to go ahead and click the PlayStation button on the controller again. It automatically connects. Now I can just click Start, and if you're anywhere near your PS4, you're going to hear it start up, and now it's trying to connect to it across the network. Once it connects, boom, you have a big window that opens up and you can see your PS4. You can use that DualShock controller you set up to scroll through your menus and do anything you want. The last step in this process is adding that into OBS with the audio. And there are a couple of different ways I'm going to show you how to do this. The first and most obvious way, you click the plus button in Sources and you go to Window Capture. I'm going to call this PS4 and click OK. Under Window, I'm going to select PS4 Remote Play. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm just going to size it up and fit it in the little window I have here. Next, we need to add our audio. So you go into Audio Input Capture. I'm going to put Game Audio and click OK. Now I'm going to select my Game Audio. For you Windows users out there, your game audio should be easy to select. It should actually have its own. For those of us who are using a Mac, it doesn't allow us to have multiple audio inputs. So you have to have a way around it, and I do that with software. I use the iShowU audio capture device. So I'm going to select that, and now you can see it's showing my game audio down in the bottom. If you're a Mac user and you don't have the iShowU capture device installed on your machine, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Once you have your audio loaded in here, if you watch this for a couple of seconds, you're going to notice some bizarre glitching that happens. The screen will just flicker. Occasionally you'll get a flicker in the bottom of the screen as well. And this is common, especially on Mac computers when you're using Windows Share. I don't like the flicker. It's not too bad, but I'd rather not have it. So I'm going to show you how to fix this flicker problem. I'm going to go ahead and delete that window capture. Then I'm going to move my PS4 remote play window 
to a second monitor and I'm going to maximize it. Now I'm going to click the plus in sources and I'm going to go to display capture. I'm going to call this game and then I'm going to select the monitor that I put my game capture on. Click OK. Now I can just resize it in here. Now I know what you're saying. Why does it look so dark? Well, it looks that dark because I'm doing a screen capture. So it darkens all the areas that I'm not capturing the screen, which would include my second monitor. If I wasn't recording the screen, that would be just as bright as it's supposed to be. Well, actually, this is exactly what it would look like right here. Now you're going to notice that it completely resolves that flicker issue. Now when I take you behind the scenes just a little bit, this is the computer that everything's running on. Fan is going crazy right now. This iPad right here is what I use for my second monitor. And that is the actual monitor coming off the game so that if there's any latency, I don't have to worry about it. But is there? Not really. So if latency is your concern or any sort of delay from your controller, it's really not something you should have to worry about, assuming that you have a pretty good internet connection. If you want to know how to set up OBS to use a capture card to capture any console game, you want to check this video out right here. And if you're looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.